When the doors are shut, it's just blue. Hey! Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Bilsif. Let's see what's really going on. Morning! How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Bilsif. Today on the Bilsif Show, I'm going to show you what I did last night. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it, but I'm going to show you what I did last night. And no, it's not the tunnel cover you're seeing. See the tunnel cover on the old truck? Look at that. That's pretty decent, eh? Still waiting for the tailgate, of course. But I'm going to show you something here as soon as I'm done drinking my coffee in the truck. And you can see what you freaking think. I did clean my garage this morning, so now I can actually walk all the way around the whole truck, which is pretty surprising. And the wife is driving me crazy. Is, I took the third brake light out. This is a Cadillac third brake light that's broken. So it needs to be replaced. If, you're, if anything really goes where there's a Cadillac brake light, these are out of the trunk lids, eh? Let me know, because the fella welded the piece in right here to hold that brake light. So I'm gonna have to get another one because it's broken. I took it out because when I get a safety, if that's broken, they probably won't safety the truck, right? Even though it's not factory. Took the hitch off. Oh, and just so you know why I took the hitch off, you're all gonna say, why wouldn't you leave the hitch on? Well, I got historic plates because they cost 20 bucks a year for historic plates. 30 years or older, you can get historic plates. So instead of paying 140 a year, you pay 20 bucks a year. Makes a big difference, but you can't tow. Not even a truck anymore, eh? if you know what I mean. I also got classic insurance on it. So it only cost me 200 and some dollars for the whole year. You can't go wrong. So some things you gotta just give up, you do. This is just my cruiser anyways. Just wanted to update you that too, why I took the hitch off. I just gotta take off the big brackets, but I'm gonna wait until I'm on the hoist because the bolts are way up in the frame and it looks like kind of a dick. So I'm gonna hold off on that. What else have I done? I ran the stereo wire to the battery for the amplifier. I gotta get a grommet for the, in there. I gotta get a grommet, stick that in there. Oh, inside, I gotta show you something. Let me wash my hands and then I'll show you. So I bought those lights I told you about for interior lights. They're not real great, but they're in. So basically what I've done is I put two up here and then down here on these Chevys, let me get this up out of the way. Down here on the Chevys, there's normally, as you know, one bulb right here. So what I did is I actually made a bracket that holds more. So here, let me show you. So basically, I made it out of aluminum. And if you look across there, I don't know if you can see, I can't tell if I'm showing you right or not. But if you look across there, I made a blue aluminum bracket for it and it goes all the way across. So now I have one, two, three lights that shine underneath the dash. And if I flick this switch, I got blue lights. So basically I got two blues up there. I know TJ, I did end up putting switches in the dash, but it's a really neat looking job, hey, look at it. So basically flick that button. That gives me the blue lights underneath, like that, hey? So when the doors are shut, and look, you don't even see them lights. See what I mean? You don't even see them under there. So when the doors are shut, it's just blue. Hey, if I want all of them on, I just gotta turn on the lights. Captain, boom. Then I got white and blue. Same with up there, see? Just blue. That's pretty freaking decent. <laughs> I might put a couple up here too, a couple blue ones. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should mount a couple up there. But I got all the wires ran in behind and everything else, so, you know, it's a pretty neat job. Like, there's no messing, in, no messing around here, but blue lights are kind of neat under the dash. Just gives you a little glow at night. And, you know, just a little added touch of Ruski. So I did that. Next, oh, I did put a switch back in. This one's for the actual driving lights, which only comes on when the key's on, so you don't forget to leave them on, even though you're not gonna with that big blue light shining at you. There you go, and then I got two extras, just in case I wanna put something in later on. I'm looking for one of those vintage radios that just take the two knob things, so I don't have to cut this dash. They're not the cheapest thing, you know the Bluetooth ones? I got all the wires ran for the amplifier, so I am gonna end up running an amplifier in here on the four inch speakers and the uh, six plans that I'm gonna put back in this corner over here, which we can do together if you want. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you wanna watch that. I did get the dash back in. As you see, this dash has got one crack right there, but I'm just gonna get one of them carpet things, but I don't know what's on this dash. I can't seem to get it off. There's marks on it and they won't come off. So if you, uh, if you have any home remedies or something that will take them marks off, hit me up down in the comments section there and tell me what you think. I might have to dye it when I dye the doors. I don't know yet, because these door panels gotta come off, I gotta dye them. I like to pull them off and re-dye them. So I might do that, but they're a real pain in the nuts to get out those things. So maybe I'll just prep them and dye them right in the truck. I'll take the carpet back out, because it's not in yet, and maybe I'll dye them. 
before I put the carpet in. Let me tell you what, it's pretty comfortable in here it is right now. Still gonna change the slider. Let me know if you think I should put a new slider, the black with the tint, or if I should just put a solid slider in. But this truck doesn't have AC, so I think I might want the slider. Because now that I have the tunnel cover on there, you won't get dirt flying from the box into your face. Look how good that tunnel cover looks. I love my long boxes, Captain. I know, they're mostly short boxes out there. That's why I like the long box, because there's not a hell of a lot of them. Also gotta fix this. This is a little loose. The actual window's actually broken around it. So I got some grommets at work that I might be able to uh, put through that window. But if not, I'll just order another window and we'll change it out. It's no big deal. I know how to do them, kinda, maybe, I don't know. But like I said, we just gotta steal up the windshield still. <sighs> Down the road, maybe, you know, we're talking next year because I did pull the trigger in order to set of rims for this truck. I'm not gonna tell you what they are yet, but I just can't, I'm just not a rally guy. I apologize, I know, you know, I paint them black, gold, silver, pink, orange, purple, and I just don't like them. I ordered some rims, you know, tell me what you think of that. It's gonna be a little while before I get tires for them though, because tires are not cheap right now. But let me know what you think of that vintage air system. I'm thinking it'll give me next year, next winter, be a winter project we'll put a vintage air system in this truck because i do like my ac we might have to do that together we'll have to see how she goes hurt is not too bad to do actually so we should be all right with that freaking right we should be but i'm really glad to clean up my garage because now i got lots of room in here i can actually walk around the truck i gotta get working on this engine too we gotta change the engine in this thing it's so simple to do it's 305 going to a 305 we gotta get to her wheel wells i should do it while the wheel wells are out I would like to lower this truck a little bit more. I noticed that that side is a little lower than this side though. We did a date measure on the cement here and we got about three quarters of an inch higher on this side than that side. So I'm gonna have to uh, do some adjustments there. But we gotta get this engine out, clean all the firewall and sand it and paint it and paint inside the inner fenders here and over there and around here and this and that and the other thing. Paint the inside of the frame up here and clean it all out and then put the other engine in it and then put it all back together. But these engines aren't too bad to change. I remember when I was younger, when I was about, you know, 22 or three, I had my C10 there, maybe, oh, I was a little older, maybe I was 30. And I could do that engine in just a weekend, hey? Like, day and a half she'd be running. I know a lot of you can do it faster than me, there, but I'm not a mechanic either, so. Day and a half I used to have them run, so I figured now, it'll probably take me about a week and a half to change it and have it running. That's what I'm thinking. Like, I got everything I need. Everything should go pretty good, maybe. I'd like to get an under pad for the hood, with a big Chevy symbol on or something, something nice. We'll have to see, but that's like I said, down the road. We still gotta wax this side of the truck. I haven't even touched this side of the truck yet. But yeah, the old tunnel cover from uh, Go Glass Accessories there looks pretty good on there. That's one long ass tunnel cover, Captain. But anyway, that's about it. Just wanted to give you an update, show you what I did. Let me know what you think of those lights under the dash. They turned out friggin' decent. Friggin' right they did. Do you need me to make you one? This is the aluminum I used. Remember that aluminum I said, hey, I'll use that for something? There you go, see, I used her for something. Friggin' right I did. But that's what I used to make that light holder thing of a bobber do dadder but keep an eye open for this cadillac third brake light trunk light for me if you see any let me know other than that love y'all hopefully enjoy the videos don't forget to subscribe like and hit the notification i'm glad you're all here and until next time you know what to do for now